The film starts in a future scenario in space. Commander Rigby, our protagonist, is riding a spaceship heading towards a large space station with a tornado in the middle. Following him are his comrades riding in a larger spaceship. Admiral Benson, the leader of the troop, issues orders to the rest of the crew as they prepare to engage enemies. Commander Rigby and his friends arrive at enemy territory and engage in a shootout. Rigby's crew takes down multiple enemy soldiers, and they press forward into the base. At the center of the base, they encounter a temporal crystal, an item they want to destroy. A large soldier named Skips prepares the cannon and aims it at the crystal. Meanwhile, one of Rigby's friends, Muscle Man, attempts to celebrate but is suddenly stopped when he gets hit by a laser. More enemy soldiers appear, surrounding the crystal and showering Rigby's crew with laser fire. Suddenly, Mordecai, a former friend of Rigby, orders the enemies to stop firing. He tries to persuade Rigby to surrender and avoid further conflict. Suddenly the enemy boss, Ross, appears from a portal and attempts to negotiate. Still, Rigby and Benson are unwilling to yield. Ross reveals the origins of the time tornado at the center of the base. He mentions that Rigby and Mordecai are the ones to blame for the tornado's existence. Rigby suddenly has a flashback, but Admiral Benson snaps him out of his trance. Benson asks Rigby if he could fix everything, if he were to leave and escape the base. When Rigby affirms it, Benson charges headfirst into enemy fire, providing a distraction and allowing Rigby to escape into space. While flying into space, Rigby configures his spaceship to travel back in time. However, Mordecai appears on the side and points a gun at him. Rigby questions Mordecai about why he works for the enemy and brings up their friendship. Mordecai responds by pointing out that they are no longer friends and it has been that way for a long time. Shortly after, they shoot each other. Still, Rigby successfully travels into the past. The next scene is set in the past, which looks to be a time similar to our present day, where Mordecai and Rigby are having breakfast. They notice they are late for work, so they head to their golf cart. Unfortunately, the cart has no gas, so they make a run for it, even though their workplace is far away. Meanwhile, at the park, Benson reminds all the employees that the meeting will start in five minutes. Rigby and Mordecai run as fast as they can but encounter many obstacles. They end up arriving late to the meeting. Benson almost fires them, if not for Rigby making up an excuse about buying breakfast for the boss. Benson forgives them, but keeps a close eye on them as they work. Out of the blue, a meteor falls from the sky. Rigby and Mordecai run away from it as it almost rolls over them. Every employee from the park rushes out to see the commotion. After panicking, they shortly discover that the meteor is actually a spaceship, with the future Rigby inside. The injured future Rigby explains the situation to everyone. He tells Mordecai and Rigby that they need to travel back in time, to stop the creation of a time machine. Rigby explains that the failed experiment that Mordecai and Rigby did caused the creation of a time tornado. The same tornado that Ross uses to erase entire timelines. Before losing consciousness, future Rigby whispers to the present Rigby to tell the truth, or the universe will be in peril. Back at the house, Mordecai tells a story about the time machine he and Rigby tried to make. According to him, they were supposed to use it so both of them could get into the same university, but the machine exploded, creating the Timonado. After learning about the past, Mordecai, Rigby, Skips, Muscle Man, High Five Ghost, Pops Maillard, and Benson, the whole gang, board the spaceship and follow the future Rigby's plan. They travel back to the past, to when Mordecai and Rigby were high school students. Back in the past, young Mordecai and Rigby talk about getting into the same university. They are interrupted by Francis Jablonski, a bully who calls Rigby a championship ruiner. When Rigby denies the accusation, Francis shows a video of Rigby distracting the volleyball team, causing them to lose an important game. A fight starts, but the principal comes along to interrupt it. The principal also tells Rigby to meet with Mr. Ross, because of an issue with his science grade. Meanwhile, the present Mordecai and the gang arrive in the past. The spaceship lands in a rough state and breaks down. Skips offers to fix the spaceship, but he says it will take some time. Mordecai confirms that they are indeed in the past, after seeing a young Benson sporting a mullet. Back at the high school, Mr. Ross tells young Rigby that his science grade is bad and he might not graduate. Rigby is devastated, but Mr. Ross tells him that all he has to do is complete a science project, and he will pass. However, Rigby has no idea what to do, so he asks Mr. Ross for ideas. The teacher proceeds to show young Rigby and Mordecai the time machine he is working on, together with some weapons grade plutonium. After that, Mr. Ross hands Rigby the keys to the laboratory and wishes him luck on his project. The adult Mordecai and Rigby, together with Benson and Pops, sneak into the high school building by stealing two varsity jackets. However, they are spotted by the owners of the jackets. 
Benson and Pops get into an altercation with the jocks while Rigby and Mordecai make an escape. Back at the spaceship, Skips heads out to buy some needed tools, and Muscle Man tries to use the bathroom. However, the spaceship's bathroom proves to be too intimidating, so Muscle Man goes outside to do his business instead. However, while Muscle Man is outside, the past version of Muscle Man discovers the spaceship and steals it. Adult Mordecai and Rigby find their younger selves at a pizza place and discuss how to approach them. After deciding on a strategy, they impress their younger selves by beating a video game. The adult Mordecai and Rigby tell the younger versions that they are there to help them with the science project. They tell them that all they have to do is make a mini volcano. Multiple Mordecai and Rigby's finish the project inside the laboratory. As soon as the younger ones leave, the adult Mordecai and Rigby destroy Mr. Ross's time machine. Shortly after, Benson and Pops arrive, doing the same. However, all of them are unaware that future Ross is observing them from outside the laboratory. Back at the crater, Skips arrives to see the spaceship gone and asks Muscle Man what happened. They soon discover a shirt that belonged to the young Muscle Man, allowing them to figure out what happened. They chase down the thieves and confront them in a battle. Muscle Man faces off against his younger self and wins, due to a dirty move. They barely manage to secure the spaceship before it lands in a giant pit. After a few hours, the gang reunites and celebrates. They believe their mission is accomplished, and they need to get home. While Skips makes the final repairs, Rigby spots a red portal and realizes something. He tells Mordecai that he needs to do something and leaves, not explaining further. During the evening, the young Rigby discovers that he was not accepted at the college he wanted to go to. His parents suggest he goes somewhere else for college, but he refuses. Young Rigby goes to his room and breaks down. Suddenly he thinks of a sinister idea, to sabotage Mordecai's acceptance letter, so both of them fail and won't have to go to separate colleges. Young Rigby successfully creates a fake rejection letter, and Mordecai believes it. Rigby suggests he won't go to college, but Mordecai proposes they finish the time machine instead so both of them can get accepted at college. Young Rigby hesitantly agrees, and they head to the school laboratory. Adult Rigby arrives at the scene, but is too late to stop them. Future Ross shows himself to adult Rigby, and they have a heated encounter. Ross mentions how his career was ruined because of Rigby's shenanigan during the championship game. Rigby tells Ross that his time machine is already destroyed. However, Ross reveals a spare time machine and opens a portal to the lab Rigby is too slow to stop the madman from continuing his plan. The gang notices portals appearing everywhere, making them aware that something is amiss. Rigby appears before them, out of breath, and he explains the situation, leaving out the details about the fake rejection letter. After that, everyone rushes to the high school to stop the creation of the time machine. When the gang arrives at the school, future Mordecai, who has also come through the portals, and Ross block their path. A fight ensues between them and the gang, yet despite being outnumbered, their fighting prowess proves superior. Fortunately, Muscle Man lands a shot at an opportune moment, taking down Ross. However, Ross's collar rewinds time by several seconds, allowing him to recover from the injury. As soon as Ross gets back on his feet, the young Rigby and Mordecai finish their experiment, and the time machine explodes, creating a small, timonado. The gang tries to catch the tornado, but none of them succeed. Benson screams at the young Rigby and Mordecai in frustration. He tells them the real reason they are there. The two are surprised, since it's the first time they have heard that explanation. Ross takes advantage of the situation to reveal Rigby's transgression. He forces Rigby to tell everyone what he did by threatening to detonate a bomb. Adult Rigby proceeds to read the rejection letter, and everyone listens in shock. As expected, adult Mordecai is the one most upset by the revelation. While everyone is in shock, Ross tries to throw a bomb at adult Mordecai. To everyone's surprise, future Mordecai steps in and uses his body as a shield. After a failed attempt to blow up adult Mordecai, Ross retreats to a portal and announces his plan to erase time itself and take revenge on Rigby for ruining the volleyball championship game. After Ross leaves, Mordecai declares the end of his friendship with Rigby. After hearing that, Rigby rushes outside the school and takes the spaceship, leaving everyone behind. Future Mordecai spends his last seconds telling adult Mordecai about the lessons he learned in life and about the mistakes he made. After gaining access to his older self spaceship, Mordecai receives a transmission from the Intergalactic Park Rangers. The message states the dire need to stop Ross before he erases the entire timeline. After hearing the message, Mordecai and the gang decide to join the upcoming battle. In space, Rigby finds himself face to face with an entity called Father Time. Father Time fills him in on what happened to the rest of the gang. He also encourages Rigby to apologize to Mordecai, to make things right. After giving it some thought, Rigby realizes that Father Time is right, and he heads to where Mordecai and his crew are. 
Mordecai and the Intergalactic Park Rangers launch a full-scale attack against Ross and the Time Tornado. Ross responds with force by sending more enemies toward them. In the heat of the battle, Mordecai attempts to land at the tornado's docking bay. His friends help him secure a path by distracting the enemies. Rigby arrives at the scene, witnessing Mordecai's crash landing into the docking bay. He rushes to the docking bay as well and starts searching for his friend. Rigby enters a pathway, where he sees portals reflecting memories of him and Mordecai. After wandering for a while, he stumbles into the center of the tornado where the temporal crystal lies. There, he sees Mordecai, who is held at gunpoint by Ross. The two face off against Ross, but they are no match for his strength. Rigby tries to apologize to Ross for ruining the volleyball championship, but Ross does not want to let go of the past. While Ross is distracted, Mordecai sneaks in from the back and pushes him off the platform. Ross falls several feet down, and he loses consciousness. The rest of the gang arrive and see Ross's unconscious state. Rigby takes the opportunity to apologize to Mordecai, and the two solemnly discuss their renewed friendship. After the talk, Rigby takes a box of plutonium and attempts to chuck it at the temporal crystal, all the while telling Mordecai to leave him be. However, Mordecai refuses to let Rigby do it alone and joins him. During this time, Ross wakes up and teleports back to where the two friends are, attempting to stop them. Fortunately, they manage to defeat Ross by slicing his collar that he uses to rewind time. After that, the two throw the box of plutonium at the crystal and escape using a spaceship. Shortly after, the tornado self-destructs. Back at the high school, the principal discovers the incident at the laboratory. He restrains Ross and plans to send him to jail due to his possession of weaponized plutonium. Young Rigby takes a moment to apologize to Ross about the volleyball incident. Ross responds by saying that an apology was all he was waiting for. After that, the young Rigby and Mordecai say goodbye to their adult versions. The timeline is fixed, and adult Rigby and Mordecai can finally return to the present.